This former nail salon owner now faces federal charges, accused of holding a woman against her will, forcing her to work, and even stabbing her with nail tools. It's a sad case of human trafficking that Channel 9 first started investigating in 2018. Today, our Anthony Castura was inside federal court as the suspect was indicted. When we think of the sad reality of human trafficking, we tend to think of sexual servitude and child abuse. But this case was very different and involved a nail salon. And the case just moved from the state level to here in federal court. We saw Tian Lu Wong walk into federal court here in Uptown earlier this morning. She's been indicted by a federal grand jury. She was first arrested after an investigation by Davidson Police and Homeland Security. This case takes us up to the luxury nail salon in Davidson. Investigators say Tian Luang used a 49-year-old victim as a slave to repay a debt of $180,000. They say she issued the victim a paycheck, but then drive her to the bank, have her cash it, and then take the money back. They say the servitude was abusive. It's a nail salon, so they say she used a metal cuticle pusher and stabbed the victim in the chest and back, leaving scars behind. She was arrested along with her boyfriend, Nip Min C, on human trafficking charges in 2018, which their attorney denies. But then the couple was accused of assaulting another victim just a few months later. Luong's attorney says she sold the salon after, quote, false accusations ruined the business. Original court documents say Luong made the victim feel like she was not able to leave or resign. Back to you.